legendary gamers. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another exciting StarCraft 2 Shoutcast. I am your Shoutcast 2 announcer here today. Uh, my name is Mr. Worm, and today I have got a 1v1 on Antigua Shipyard here as the Blue Terran is E.G. the Muslim. And over here on the right hand side is I.S. Axlav. Um, now, I didn't, uh, I didn't spend as much time as I normally do to go and look at the statistics of the characters and so on and so forth. Uh, what I can tell you is that both of these characters are, um, excuse me, both of these players are, are some of the, the top players in the world. Um, the Muslim was uh, number one Terran, uh, I don't know, for six months a year, something like that. I mean, he was number one on the ladder, uh, head and fist over everyone else. So, as far as ladder play is concerned, the Muslim is pretty much the the top dog. Um, nobody beats him when it comes to ladder play. Um, Axlav is well. I want to I want to say something about him. I swear to God, I know this guy, but I guess I don't. Um, I know I know that I've I've watched some of his games. Um, but I just don't really know too much about his play style. I mean, he's, he's going, you know, gateway first, and then he's going to walk a probe out and take a scout. Um, the Muslim put his barracks back there. I'm a little curious about that. Why did he, he do that? I think that's just to get the worker closer to the mineral line. I mean, he should have another supply depot coming down any second now. And usually it, it would drop right here, you know, and the barracks would be right here. But no, I mean, Axlav is going to get in here. He's going to see this, okay? And uh, there is a lot of minerals building here. A lot of minerals. I mean, he's he's floating at a very uncharacteristically large amount of minerals, and and so is Axlav for that matter. I mean, I mean, he he was at 400 a second ago. There we go. So he did drop the expansion. And that's exactly what the Muslim is doing as well. Looks like they're both fast expanding. Okay. That's what I suspected was going on, but, you know, can never really be too sure. So, the Muslim's uh, producing, you know, a couple of light military units, a couple of Marines. Um, just two for right now. And there's Zealot coming out for Axelab. Oh, and he's trying to get that SCV so close. Eight health. And he is going to escape, so. And the cybernetics cord does go down. And it doesn't look like he's trying to do an actual forge fast expand. He's doing a very aggressive, you know, zero defense type of build here. It's, it's pretty interesting. Um, and he is going to walk that zealot across the map there. And three Marines. Let's see, where is he going? Okay, he's checking for pylons. Let's see if he can't cut off this worker. Yeah, and he brings over the other two, other two Marines. That was really clever. I really like that play. That was adorable. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is delicious. So I dropped the mule at the expo first. And you notice how it's on the closest mineral patch. You know, that's pretty cute. And he immediately, he's probably got these queued. Yeah. See, that one's queued, and this one, okay, he just queued that one now. Unless I just didn't see it a second ago. But you notice how, see how they're, they're always the, the closest mineral patches. It's just so efficient. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the harvester count. It looks like 30 over 24, so Protoss way ahead here, up by 5 um, at the 6 minute mark, and that's that's a pretty considerable lead. Uh, so let's take a look at the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, let me get the name tags up here too. There we go. And that'll give me supply as well, so that tells me army count. Axlav is about 150 up, so that's like, you know, 4 zealots. That's... Axlev is just killing it here. <laughs> I mean, he's doing considerably better than Demuslim. Demuslim looks like he's asleep. 
compared to Axelot's uh, production. And just not not only militarily, but well, as far as economy. And look at that spread. N 19 spread there. Yeah, it's it's just that's just perfect. It's just a perfect, perfect probe count. That's exactly how many you should have on your mineral patches, um, which I believe is 16. And look at this. He's going to go in for some really, really heavy aggression. And with all of that gas invested in those sentries, he is going to be able to throw down field after field after field. The Muslim knows it's coming. I mean, look at this. You know, he is just stacking up on the... the uh, the bunkers, and here's the question, is he gonna get the bunkers done in time? Is he gonna get bunker two and three completed? Some kind of weak force fields there, I'm a little curious. Okay, so I guess he just didn't want to use the energy. He walked in, he said, eh, you know, this really isn't worth it. You know, he knows that the Muslims spent a lot of money on these here. You know, would be really cute right now is to see, like, you know, uh, a robotic facility with the warp prism or something like that, you know, try and drop him to the top. And it looks like the Muslim is going to go ahead and swap that factory for that starport, put it on that reactor, and start pumping out some medevacs here. So he's going to get his heals. Um, at the same time, he's going for plus one weapons. And Twilight Council, Twilight Council going down for Oxlav. Double forges, pumping out some big money upgrades here. So Oxlav is going to be considerably ahead of this game. And, I mean, at the rate that he is continuing to grow, I mean, he's he's climbed that Harvester lead to 13, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, now, of course, money-wise, pretty close. So let's see. Is it going to be Blink? Is it going to be Blink? I would love to see some Blink play. It is going to be Blink play. Yeah, I like Blink play. You know why Blink play is interesting? Because it means this game is not going to be boring. Okay. And a blink timing stalker push can be really, really freaking nasty. However, the Muslim has got five, five barracks. So he is going to start throwing down stuff. And, of course, Axelav is going to lose a pile on there. And that was good scouting by the Muslim. And look at this. Another one coming up over here. He's got another one down here. And he's probably going to put one somewhere around here. However... There's one down here on low ground. That's a, that's a little that's a little sketchy, but not the end of the world. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. That pylon immediately picked up the Muslim, and he's gonna go ahead and take that out. However, he doesn't know that this force is marching across the map. So why did he warp those in and then move them back? Hmm. Probably because he didn't want to lose those stalkers that he was making. He's just waiting right now. And I like this. Look at this. Axelov's got this probe up here with a pylon in the back. I mean, Axelov is all over this map. I mean, his vision is got to be... I mean, I mean, compared to... Okay. Now, I mean, the Muslims got center, so that's something. But, I mean, if you look at this, I mean, he's just got little, little bits of information all over the place. I would really like it if... Uh, if Axelav made some kind of play for the center. But, I mean, it's just so dangerous without some kind of, you know, um, you know, something for him to be able to see with. And it looks like he's going to go for these back rocks here. And there's the scan. Whoa! I'm not really sure about those force fields. I mean, he didn't really split. He didn't break up the army. Ugh. I mean, he actually wrapped around the back of him. That was that was pretty pretty bad force field on Axlev. And with these medevacs here, he's just gonna have no problem. However, once he gets his big ball of stalkers together, he's gonna have. I mean, he's he he should if if his blink play is really good, should be no problem. And that's pretty much it. That's all it took for Axelov just to get rolled. Yeah, once he once he cut him off of that expansion, you know, that's that's all you know. 
it was just a bad engagement, bad force fields, way too much money into, you know, too heavy of a gas, you know, this, these things happen. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for Games 2 and 3.